John Cena. My time is now. You can't see me. My time is now. I don't know the rest of the words of that song. No, my time is now. I'm a cop. Hey guys, what's up? We gonna win Damien's heart. We already there, but we we gonna do it. I'm sure, bitch. I ain't never been so sure of something in my life. True. Ever since we had that picnic in the graveyard, Damien and I have been spending a lot of time together. We go on nighttime strolls pretty regularly. He was so impressed with the first letter I wrote him that he insisted we only communicate by post instead of going through dad book. I initially protested, but he gave me some of his old... Little Levela. His Signet. old vanilla? Yeah, vanilla. <laughs> Give me some nice vanilla. Signet? Is that how you say it? Yeah, signet rings. Yeah, signet rings. To use as a seal for my letters, and I couldn't say no. Hanging out with that goth dad again. Hanging out with that goth dad again. There you go. Please, Amanda, you know his name. And but all around Lily. <laughs> And yes. We got a new hijinks. My daddy said no. We got to do it anyway. <laughs> Unless we get caught. And then we apologize for it. And sing a song. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> you get the limo out front. Ooh, oh. How to style every shoe, every color. Now when you're famous, it can be kind of fun. <laughs> Joseph saying that. Oh my god. Listen. Who would have thought that a girl like me would double as a superstar? <laughs> Woo! <coughs> Get the best of both worlds. Chilling out, take it slow. Then we'll rock out the show. You get the best of both worlds. <laughs> Mix it all together and you know no, that it's the best of both worlds. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> They're going to hate us. They're going to hate us. It was like maximum the whole time. They're going to hate us. Oh, oh God. It's your turn. It's your oh, be, be honest with me here, Pops. Is he actually a vampire? I remember you inviting him to our household that one time, and I tried to see Lost Boys. I honestly would prefer trying to see if he could have walked through the threshold of our home under his power. Yes, Amanda. I've become Damien's familiar. I'm compelled under his curse. I'm sorry, sweetie. Uh, turn into a bat. I don't think... Immalable. Oh my god. <clears throat> What's the point of being a vampire if you can't turn into a bat? <laughs> <laughs> Looks what? like you might be a bat. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, okay, I'm off. Hmm. Are you taking a car or are you flying off into the night on the Larry Wings of a bat? <laughs> <laughs> One of those. <laughs> One of those. While I'm out, can you throw away the garlic bread that's in the freezer so I don't die? That'd be great. I'm keeping it there as an assurance. You understand, right? That's my girl. <gasps> I made Hannah Montana sound like Larry the Cable Guy. Yeah, you definitely did. <laughs> 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 she might as well have been, honestly. I always just imagine that thing where she's got like her arms like hyper extended at her sides, and she's like got her te like two front teeth sticking out. She's like, that was a shit. I don't have that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but daddy, I want to do what you said I can't do. I'm gonna sing a song about it. That's every episode of that show I've ever seen. Because that's all it is. Right. <sighs> this music. This sounds like that Jenna Marvel's mm -hmm. inspirational it looping does. track. 
that she used to sing the prom song. That's why I stopped, because I was like, wait a minute, is this the same thing? I really thought it was for like two seconds. Check that out if you haven't, it's pretty good. Yeah. Damien and I walk along... I'm pretty sure it's I'm Bad at Pranks 3. Yeah. 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 Damien and I walk along the water's edge chatting. Damien's cape, I mean cloak. He hates it when people call it a cape. Damien's cloak flutters behind him in the breeze. This is so sweet. This is showing that you, like, have learned things about him and you guys have, like, a relationship. We do. Like, in that very short amount of time. Like, just, it's one of, like, D- I've noticed Dion and I do that a lot. Like, whenever somebody says it, we actually make a, se- a point to say, like, out loud, noted. Mm-hmm. Just so that, you know, I think that's really sweet. I do that with a couple friends. Yeah. I don't know. Not, like, say it out loud, but, like, just remember things. Yeah. I got you. This is gonna seem like a really silly question, but why do goths wear black? Gothic subculture has always been associated with death, so it would make sense that the style surrounding it would be greatly influenced by mourning. True. Um, Interestingly enough, though... Was that the Victorian era, Queen Victoria mourned herself the death of her late husband for ten whole years, wearing black for the rest of her life. If that's not goth, I don't know what is. True. I have another question. He sounds like the theater teacher from High School Musical. Now that's theater! Right! (laughs) Go ahead. How are you so comfortable with death? You mentioned in the graveyard that it helps you appreciate your life or something? Ah, I've experienced several losses over the course of my life, and I truly believe the only manageable way to cope with it is to accept that death is simply a part of living. I love him. Accurate. I'm in love with him. It's the single universal truth for every human who has ever lived. I'm going to die. You are going to die. And life carries on without us. Your moves are weak! <laughs> right. Your moves are weak. Your moves are weak. What? De- Mom? You're, good. You're dying, son. What? <laughs> right. Huh? Your, your moves are weak. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't that make... Oh. Doesn't that make you feel scared? Not at all. Without the advances of modern science, death was everywhere in the Victorian era. And yet, funerals were major social functions. Hmm. Victorians were obsessed with the mementos of their loved ones, even going so far as to take elaborately staged photographs of their dead relatives. The minutia of mourning was so complex that there were set periods of grieving that were deemed acceptable based on who in your life had passed. Now, we don't have any of that. If you lose someone, you end up feeling lost yourself, because we have no modern equivalent of those formalities. We need to allow ourselves time to grieve, to feel that loss fully, but not allow it to consume us. I agree. <sighs> agree. So no, I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of a life unlived. Yeah, basically. I believe it is a waste to spend your life dreading the end of it. Oh, close mm-hmm. enough. Yeah. Then time we have here is brief and fleeting, and occasionally cruel, but it is at all times precious to stare death in the face and live despite that I think, is a noble existence. Let's save the morning for the dead. We're all stories in the end. Make sure that yours is a good one. Oh, God. Doctor Who. Mm -hmm. 2000-something. 2000-something. Do, 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 do
breathing in the salty sea air. Mm. I look to Damien again and can't help but be entranced by his charm, his mystery. I find everything about him so fascinating. I lean in closer to Damien, closing my eyes as I do. I am so sorry. I have to take this. Damien steps away from me to answer his phone. I have to. Oh no, I hope it isn't Lucian again. After speaking in hundred... Not hundred. (laughs) Why do I think that's a hundred? After speaking in a (laughs) hundred tones, Damien returns. (laughs) He returns to me, bitch. Did I mention my middle name is... Legion. (laughs) It means we are many. (laughs) I love that, though. Everything okay? Oh my god, Damien Legion Blood March. I feel like that- I love that. That sounds amazing. What? Oh my god, you have one? (laughs) (laughs) See, there's always multiple voices when he talks, though. Right. Yeah, so it makes sense. There's an emergency. A love emergency. And that's when he starts doing that. The oh my jazz god! Dance and oh rips my god! Off the clothes and he's wearing like a, one, a glittery one piece. Oh no, black glitter. Black glitter, yeah. And starts doing jazz hands. Lucian? Huh? No. Did you hear? It was multiple voices yeah. again. No, thankfully. But I must take my leave. Oh. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Hmm. Dads do have to stick together, right? You know it. Hmm. Then come. There isn't any time to waste. After a short drive in silence, we arrive at a rundown building on the outskirts of town. Where are we? It's better if I just show you. Cool. I push the surprisingly heavy door open and find myself in a dimly lit waiting room. A few rickety chairs line the walls, and there doesn't seem to be anyone behind the front desk. There are a few paintings and pictures on the wall, but they're so nondescript. I'm sure... I'm still unsure of what kind of place this is. Hmm. Wait here for a moment. I'll be right back. Damien walks off down a corridor, his boot heels echoing through the hall of the seemingly empty building. Distant howls echo from someplace I can't see, and there's a faint scratching sound like claws on tile. I cautiously peek down the hall and find stall after stall of scared-looking dogs. A few of them notice me and skitter up to the chain-link fence, sticking their noses through to sniff at the air. What have I gotten myself into? Suddenly, the lights shut off. I panic, unsure of where I am now or how I can get out. I stumble through the darkness, my breathing getting heavier and heavier. Damien? The lights finally turn back on. Hey, sailor. Mary, what are you doing here? Are you on here for the fight club? I, uh, I don't want to get punched in the face. Ah. Great, because this is an animal shelter. A what? Ah. We take care of stray animals and then people adopt the stray animals. Didn't you see the pets when you walked in? Oh, I just, sorry, I didn't really expect to see you volunteering at an animal shelter. Uh. Wow. Okay, kid. Way to put me in a box. Dames, you hear this baloney? Just one moment. Hey, bitch. Thunder cracks and a door bursts open, appearing from the shadows I see. Damien? Oh my oh god! Oh my god, yes! I'm in love with him! I love this. He is beautiful in every way. Look at him. Holy That's, shit. I actually like him more this way. I like him both ways. I don't give a fuck. He's beautiful. He is. Um, hey. It's Damien. He looks completely different. No cloak, no Victorian era clothing, no makeup. I wasn't planning to share this side of me until much later, but I'm not as goth as you think. Hmm. I, uh... I'm a systems administrator for the IT department of a realty company. I wear tennis shoes to work and listen to Bruce Springsteen. I enjoy going to the hardware store and looking at storage solutions. And I volunteer at this animal shelter in my spare time. I'm boring. 
I'm fascinated with Victorian history and the golf lifestyle. That much is true. It's just not all that I am, and I need you to know that. Oh, I, uh... Hey. Hate to kill the moment here, but there's some pressing business that needs attending to. What? Oh, right. It's Duchess Cordelia. <clears throat> Again? Who's Duchess Cordelia? Oh, She's one of the pups. Gets out all the time. She somehow learned to open doors, and now she's unstoppable. Hmm. When did she get out? Hmm. This morning. When go... Oh. <laughs> I went to go sing sea shanties to the cats, and when I came back, she had already bolted. I have to stay here with the pets, so I need you two to go and find her. Of course. Where could she be? She always ends up running off to the same places. Here, let me draw you a map. Are we about to play a maze game? I don't know. Mary starts <clears throat> scribbling on the back of a pet adoption ah. form. She's very smart, ruthless even. You have to stay on your toes to get her back by sundown, or else she turns into a werewolf and starts eating people. What? Ellipsis. You're a perfect little peach, Dex Anger. Ah. We just don't want her to be stuck outside when it's cold. No! Aight, we back. Oh. 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 Hmm. <laughs> I'll grab some treats and we can hit the road! Damon and I look over the map that Mary created for us. Oh man, I'm Nerd's house? Where? Where? Where is Nerd's house? <laughs> nerd's oh, house. Oh, right there at the very end of the cold Nerd's sand. house. Next Other to Coffee nerd's Dad house. and Mary's sick pad. Kale? I love that he's just Kale. Who's Kale? Craig? Yeah, oh. Craig is Kale. Smalls. Dames. Oh, oh my god! Her and Damien are That's best friends. That's super sweet. Her and Damien are best friends. Mario Batali lives on the cul-de-sac. No, um, that's, um, Hugo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because he's, like, in love with him. Yeah. But, yeah, um, and then her and Robert are drinking buddies. Yeah. That's so cute. And I other nerd that. is Brian. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm Nerd's house? At least you're not other nerds' house. Looks like you're moving up in the pecking order. Congrats, kiddo. Where should we head first? <laughs> Damien and I exit the parking lot and start driving into town. I look over to him. He seems concerned. Shouldn't be too hard to find the Duchess, right? She's a pretty big pup. Mary wasn't kidding when she said that dog was smart. One time she correctly guessed the winner of the Kentucky Derby. It was really a great year for Bark Bark Bark. Ellipsis. Hmm, I don't know. What do you think our odds are, Dex Anger? This'll be easy. No sweat. If I can wrangle a toddler who suddenly decides that she's princess of the drywall and then spend three hours fishing a toddler out of a crawl space in our attic, I can find a dog. It was Amanda. Amanda did that. Let's just hope for the best. We got this. We drive to the softball field. It looks like Craig's team is practicing. I wonder if any of the kids saw something. Kale spots us and jogs over, softball bat uh, slung over his mm. shoulder. Hey, bros, what's up? Craig, you wouldn't have happened to see a dog around here, would you? One escaped from the animal shelter and we're trying to locate her. Oh, he's so nervous. Look at his sweat drop. Right. Hmm. Huh, I don't think so. Maybe one of the girls saw something. Girls! Girls! Hi, Amanda's dad. Hi, Lucian's dad. We have names. Or whatever. Girls, have you seen any dogs around? Yeah, a huge dog ran through here a second ago. You just missed it. We tried to play fetch with her, but she just took a summer ram. 
think she ate it, actually. She was a lot of dog. Here, take another softball. Might come in handy later. <laughs> Many thanks, Craig. We park in front of Matt's coffee shop and walk inside. It seems like a slow day. Matt sits behind the counter reading a book. Hey, Matt. Hey. Didn't expect to see you two today. What's up? Have you seen any stray dogs around? Hmm. Can't say I have. You looking for one? Can you describe them to me? Enormous. Ah. That pretty well covers it. Hey. Cool. If I find strays digging... Oh, I find... Is digging for food and scraps in the alley out back sometimes. I'll be sure to keep an eye out. We head back to the car. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We drive through the cul-de-sac and everything seems to be pretty normal. It looks like Brian's doing some yard work. We pull into Brian's driveway and hop out. Hey! Don't step on the grass! I just mowed! Have you seen any... Unusual activity in the area today. <laughs> a shot of an underwater lawn. Stop being an ass. Here we go. How dare you? I take my lawn care very seriously. Dex anger, please. Huh. You haven't seen a dog run through you here, have you? Hmm. Well, a few hours ago I heard Maxwell barking at something. When I came outside, my garden had been torn to shreds. It's gonna take forever to retail the soil. Haha. Uh -huh. Karma, bitch. Right. Hmm, that could be a dog, or a rather feisty raccoon. Whatever it was, you must be hungry. I ate all my tomatoes. Hmm. I'm very sorry to hear about your garden. If you need assistance restoring it to its former glory, please don't hesitate to contact me. Ah. What you'll do, buddy? Good luck finding that dog. I don't know why I started. Hmm, she's probably still hungry. I wonder if she's looking for more food elsewhere. We already went to coffee spoon. I know. Oh. Do you know the process? No, but oh. he said he saw dogs looking for scraps. Oh, okay. Guys, I think I may have seen that dog you were looking for. See, bitch? Oh. What? You did? A brown mastiff? Hmm. Size of a house? Yeah, I saw it digging through the trash in the back. It ran away when I tried to get closer, though. Did you see what direction it ran in? Matt thinks oh. for a second. Might have been running east, I think. That pup tore through three, three pans of old grateful banana bread. Want to take some time, take some for the road, just in case. Sure thing. Matt packages up a slice. Um, thanks for the slice, the road slice. Ah. The grateful banana bread is gonna be so good. I think he meant to give it to you for the dog. <laughs> right, I meant it's gonna be so good for the dog to eat. I fear that the hours are growing short. We must make haste if we're to find the Duchess by sundown. Damien's looking more stressed out by the minute. I gotta think of something to lighten the mood. Who's there? Death Cult. Death Cult? Who? Death Cultivate a more chipper attitude, friend. We're gonna find the dog. A smile... Oh. Aw, slight smile cracks on Damien's lips. That's better. I keep reading Damien directions from the map as we drive around town. Bring it around town. Maybe Bayside. Bring it around town. Can we appreciate her little compass right here in the corner? Right. Shit. <laughs> Just like the ocean or whatever. This is the ocean or whatever. I like Mary's map. I do too. We arrive back at the Bayside. Just like old times, eh? I remember it as if it were yesterday. I mean, earlier today. So what do you think? Any sight of the pooch? Hmm. None yet, although who knows if she made it onto any of these ships. Oh, jeez. The Duchess would do that? I wouldn't put it past her to know how to navigate the rough seas and without a compass. Very smart. Oh. Uh, Pops! Damien and I turn to see my daughter. Amanda, what are you doing here? 
Did you think I just stayed inside all day vegging on the couch and watching TV? Oh, sorry. What are you doing? I'm heading home to go veg out on the couch and watch TV. <laughs> I had to go get a burrito first. She's me. Young Miss, have you seen a dog around here? Yeah. Oh, you bet. Oh, you bet. I saw a Pomeranian with a bow around his neck. I saw a big old Doberman named Henry. It was a story full of Yorkie, a Greyhound, and a Golden Retriever. I sound like Ben Situcky. Yeah, you really do. <laughs> Did you see a Mastiff anywhere? And also, why is your voice changing yet again? <laughs> right. For the fifth huh, time this play? No, I, I definitely would have remembered that. Huh. I gotta run though. This Rito is about 10 minutes before the cheese breaks down. The molecular structure of tortilla makes it all soggy. You understand? I do? Huh. Of course. Have a lovely evening, Miss Sprouse. Oh, he's so cordial. He really is. You're so cordial. <laughs> Matt said the Duchess went east from the coffee spoon, but there's no sign of her here. I suppose we need to go not so east? I feel like we're on the right track. He looks so happy. Mm -hmm. He's so cute with his glasses. You think? If we keep this up, we'll find the Duchess in no time. Hey, if you don't like dogs- no, if you, if you like dogs so much, why don't you have any? Lucian is severely allergic. I wouldn't put him through that. Aww. But there are still dogs in my life, so for that I'm grateful. There's about to be one more dog in your life, buddy. Splendid attitude. Let's not waste any more time. Verily. Wheel. Not so east, so what's the farthest west? The softball field? Or coffee spoon? Yeah, which we've been to both. Yeah. I guess the aquarium is the only place we haven't gone. Cool. Oh my god! Penguin. Damien and I stopped by the aquarium. Everything looks in order here, but it might help to get out of the car and take a look. Do you see anything? Hmm. No dog here, not any sign of her. You Did you know that penguins are considered the goths of the sea? That's a bit of a stretch. Damien, I want to believe you so badly. I fear the night draws closer and closer with every passing breath. We must find the Duchess soon. This is serious. I hope we find her. Where we going? Where we going? Uh, softball field. Damien and I return to the softball field. It looks like a game is in progress, and Craig's team is winning, of course. Any, s oh. Any sign of her? I don't think so. Wait, maybe... Never mind, it's just a kid taking a nap in the outfield. We get back in the car. Mm. Coffee spoon? Yeah, but she went east of the coffee spoon. Okay, so I guess the cold is that? East. Cause, yeah, we went to Bayside, so yeah, she was in there. I just realized that his shirt is like lilac and it fades to periwinkle. I'm it's sorry. the same color. No, it's not. It's not? No. It is slightly different here than it is here. Oh. This is warmer, and that is cooler. Awesome. We arrive at the cul-de-sac to find everything looking normal, except... Uh-oh, Hugo's front door is wide open. She can open doors. This is classic Duchess Cordelia, a telltale sign. We should approach with caution. Whatever goes down in there, I've got your back. We creep up onto the porch and step inside, bitch. Oh my god. It's a big dog. Yeah. L like, look at her compared to him. Hey, like that's a huge bitch. <laughs> Jesus. Have you not, you've never seen that? I have. Oh, like every yeah, Rob Schneider yeah. movie. Hey, that's a huge bitch. Yeah, <laughs> like. Oh, God. They're sitting in the center of Hugo's living room like she owns the damn place. Is one of the biggest dogs I've ever seen. Woof. <laughs> she would be the bitch to do that. Well, she hasn't broken anything in here yet. Huh. Wonderful. Now all we have to do is get this leash on her before she tries to escape again and get out of here before Hugo comes home. Easy peasy. Hmm. Duchess, come here. 
The Duchess eyes Damien warily. As he approaches, she begins to growl. Huh. She's on her guard. We'll need another plan. <laughs> the banana bread. Yes, oh, bitch. shit. That is wet. I reach into my pocket and pull out the slice of grateful banana bread that Matt gave me. Duchess sniffs the air and hones on the bread. Come here, girl. Nice and easy. Got some yummy homemade vegan and possibly gluten-free banana bread, if that's what you're into. Uh. The Duchess cautiously approaches me and gives the bread a good sniff before gently taking it from my hand and dropping it on the ground like dogs always do for some reason. She curls up and starts munching on the bread. Success! Damien walks behind the Duchess and attaches the, le the leash to her collar. She immediately notices and starts <laughs> whining. It's time to go home now, Duchess. Damien gives a tug on the leash. She won't move. Duchess, what happened to our rapport? You and I used to be bosom buddies. She still doesn't move. She's huge. There's no way we could even try to lift her. Well, this is a weird situation to be in. I think we're literally trespassing in our friend's house with this large dog. What are you nerds doing? What, what are you nerds doing? Alright. <laughs> Ernest stands in the door with a plate of pizza rolls. Don't tell your dad, we're definitely not trespassing, or what flavor pizza rolls are those? What flavor pizza rolls? <laughs> uh, pepperoni blast? Nice. The Duchess notices Ernest and starts pulling against the leash. Why is the dog in my house? It's a long... The Duchess suddenly breaks free from Damien's grip and hurdles towards Ernest. <laughs> the voice crap. Cool. Ernest and the Duchess fall to the ground. Pizza rolls fly everywhere. Bring it around town. This is bad. Bad omen. <laughs> oh my god. Ernest, are you okay? Ernest feeds the Duchess a pizza roll. Hey, she likes pizza rolls. Ernest sits up, but the dog keeps licking his face. It's it's Ray the Firefly again. <laughs> oh hey, Hugo stands at the door, looking like he's at a loss for huh? words. What? Why are you guys? Whose dog is this? It's a long story, but it involves a large dog who knows how to open doors. Boof. Boof. Hugo, may I present you to Duchess Cordelia? Hmm. How do you do? A barf. We're friends! We're friends! The Duchess looks at Ernest's face. She's from the local animal shelter. She got out and we've been chasing her all around town. Hmm. Your house was her final stop. Dad, can we keep her? Hmm. Ernest, I don't know if we're set up to take care of her. Sweet man, Chago. Jesus. Wait, did you just call me dad? Come on, please, look at how cute she is. Hugo sighs. Oh. We had been talking about adopting a dog for a while, but you have to promise me you'll take care of her. Yeah, I'll give her all the pizza rolls her little heart desires. I sound like Serena. A little bit. <laughs> Jeez. I suddenly remember what's on the back of this map and pull a pin out of my pocket. Got the forms ready for you if you're interested. I'll even waive the adoption fee since, you know, we technically broke into your household. Hmm. Well, alright. It's a deal. <laughs> I lost his voice. Well, alright. It's well, a deal. Well, alright. If you do the finger thing, it Well, alright. It's a deal. Told you. Jesus Christ. I told you it helps. That helps a lot. Like, jeez. Hugo steps into the porch with us and signs the form while Ernest plays with Duchess inside. He sure seems to be happy with his new friend. Ah. I know. He called me dad. Can you believe it? I'm fucking petrified. 
Oh my god. Damien places a hand on Hugo's shoulder. I certainly can. I think this will be really good for Ernest. It should teach him some responsibility. You should probably look into getting better locks in your doors, though. The Duchess is a wily one, but do right by her side and she'll love you two forever. Thank you. And long story short, the Duchess now lives in a happily ho happy home, and neither of us were charged for breaking and entering. Nice. So all in all, I think it was a fine day's work. Nice work, you two. Mm. Dex Anger, you could be a valuable asset to our team of volunteers, you know. If you ever feel like putting up some puppies, hit me up. Mary, I always feel like petting puppies. Mm? Good to know. Well, I'll catch you fellas later. Mary, oh. Mary starts to leave. <laughs> Mary starts to leave. <laughs> and one last thing. Ah. Damien's been telling me about you. Gladly, or glad he finally brought you around. Oh, yeah. Damien's my special boy. I love him. We go way back and I got a vested interest in his health, success, and well-being. If you ever heard him... Oh. Mary! Hey. You can fill in the blanks. I gulp. Yes, ma'am. Mary leaves me alone with Damien. So, about the whole goth thing, I, um, completely understand if you aren't interested in me anymore. What? Uh, Am I missing something here? I'm not cool goth prince. I'm boring. I own five pairs of tennis shoes. I wear dumb glasses. Don't you care? He looks so nervous. Damien, do you really think I only like you because of all the goth stuff? That's all cool, but the best thing about you is how passionate you are about the things that you love. History, art, Victorian fashion, dogs, storage solutions. It doesn't matter what it is. You care, and that's awesome. And also, the glasses are very cute. I agree. I do too. Jesus. He is adorable. Hmm. You don't think I'm boring at all? If you're boring, then I don't know what that makes me. I spend too much time online shopping for flashlights. I get excited to mow my lawn on Saturdays. I get cranky about commercials being too loud. I've even been thinking about making my own peanut butter. Hmm. Then maybe we could be boring together. It would never be boring if I was with you. That's so oh, sweet. Oh my god! Oh. That melted my face. Right. Damien suddenly closes the gap between us and pulls me into a hug. He buries his face in my shoulder. His hair smells like lavender and rosemary. Oh my god. Once in a lifetime means there's no second chance. So I believe. No, no, it's, you... he finishes that. Oh, he finished that yeah. part. Oh. So I believe that you and me should grab it while we can. Make it last forever oh. And never turn it back It's our time and... What? What's the next line? Mm -hmm. And I'm loving where we're at oh, okay. Because this moment's really all we have Every day of our lives Wanna find you there, wanna hold on tight we Gotta run while we're, we're young, young And keep, keep the faith Every day for right, right now I'm Gonna use our voices and shout out loud Take my hand, together we will celebrate Every day Ba, 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 ba. Every day, every day, ba, 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 ba. Oh, every day, ba, ba, every day, ba, 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 
about my lives. Got a girl's album. I don't know this song very well. I don't either. I just know they go, oh, every day. Every day. I like how they all end the same <laughs> way, though. <laughs> so all you have to do is just... All you have to do is sound like happy, but like whispery at the yeah, end. Yeah, and the, every day. <laughs> and then that's the and, end of the song. And you have to like lock eyes with the person you're in the duet with, and you have to go... <sighs> Yeah, like at the at end. At the end with a smile <laughs> on your face. Like one beat after you sing. <sighs> yeah. Like a... Hmm. Yeah. And like smile. <laughs> like really stupid yeah, smile. Yeah, like really horrible. Okay. Damien... Okay, yeah. I was so scared you wouldn't like me. Oh, no. Quite the opposite. Damien pulls away for a second and looks me in the eyes. Without the colored contacts, his eyes are so dark and soulful. They're brown. They're brown. They're, They're brown. hypnotizing. I know that feeling. Huh. Mm -hmm. May I kiss you? Does a bat have wings? <laughs> ah, I believe I have my answer then. Damn, Swiggity bitch. swoogity coming for that Christmas booty. Yes. He smiles slightly and leans in, giving me a gentle kiss. Oh. Damien pulls away and gives me an intense look. Do you have a gray poupon? <laughs> that is beyond that hands off. <laughs> Do you want to help me take care of the puppies? Yes. <laughs> Aw. Damien and I arrive back at the cul-de-sac, our fingers entwined, intertwined, whatever, same difference. Like a proper gentleman, he walks me to my doorstop yet again. Huh. This was lovely. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for everything. I'm very happy I can be myself around you. I'm glad, but I do have one request. Huh. What's that? Can we keep sending each other letters? Oh. But of course. Aww. Oh my god. Did oh we... my god. <laughs> <laughs> Damien, I'm looking for a sailor. Please leave. <laughs> Damien kisses me one last time before turning around and heading home. Amanda runs back to the couch from the window and tries to look as nonchalant as possible. I forgot the voice. You were doing, like, Hannah Montana slash, um, Ben last <gasps> time. Oh, yeah. Hello, father. I was sitting here on the couch this entire time. Hi, Amanda. So, are you guys, like, starting a vampire coven together? Oh, plot twist. Mothman. Damien's actually Mothman. Didn't see it coming either. Mm -hmm. Genius. Well, whatever's happening, I'm really glad you two are happy. You deserve it, Dad. Aw, shucks. I'm gonna head to bed. I'll catch you in the morning. Sure thing. I make my way to my room and fall into my bed with my heart full, excited for the days to come. I fucked Amanda all up this Yeah, playthrough. like... S. Maybe A. I don't know. It's gonna be S. Oh, my shoot. dear friend, you've simply taken the egg on this one. Um, t taken the egg is a, uh, it's a... <clears throat> It's a it's a Victorian phrase. It technically means winning, so uh, you've ultimately you've you've won. I love that. That was oh my god! I love him in every <laughs> way. He's so awkward. And He's it's so amazing. wordy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, it's beautiful. Interview with the vampire. A hey, bitch. Whew! I think I have everything finally set up. Amanda should be here any minute now. I think that's her in the driveway. Okay, gotta act natural. Be cool, Dexanger. Be cool. I think we've seen this. Yeah. Skip it. Skip it. Hmm. Sorry, sweetie. It's the feds. The life of crime is finally catching up with you. Tried to send him in a different direction, but even I'm no match for the power and funding of the U.S. <sighs> government. Well, they think they're gonna take me alive. They got another thing coming. Okay, Pensatucky. I'm kidding. You're right. I have a little surprise for you. Dad. Dad. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> it's 
the party. Oh, Little he's dressed dads. as the... Yeah. Yeah. He's normal. Was he like that last time? No. I didn't think so. It's because I won his heart. You won his heart. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I walk over to Mary who's having a lively conversation with Amanda. We have a real fluffy Samoyed right now. His name's Harold. Loves belly rubs. He always tries to lick your face if you get too close. Eh? Miss Christensen, thank you for telling me in great detail about every single dog currently at the dog shelter. Please tell me about Afghan with three legs again. Huh? Sure. Quadro, we call him. One of those ironic nicknames. You know, if you're really interested, I could probably steal one for you. Really? No, but I could get you in to meet them all. You could u we could use the extra hands around the shelter, and if those extra hands also happen to steal a dog. I'm glad you two are able to bond over cute dogs. It really warms my heart. Dad, we're having a moment. Huh? Hey, sailor, your kid's a good egg. Where's your golf prince? You two are usually attached to the hip these days. He's, uh, he's around. Stella. Mary Stella! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Mary turns her attention to Amanda. It's not too hard to sneak a dog into the college. Trust me, I did it plenty back in the day. At one point, I had three cats living in my room. I decided to leave them too. Now I'm just married to one. Damn. All of a sudden, a huge dog leaps up into my arms. Aw, Duchess! Hugo and Ernest run up to me. The Duchess gives my face a few broad licks and hops uh. down. We're working on that. Got, Got her in a disciplinary class. Oh, sorry. That's cool. She's a wild spirit who runs where she may. <laughs> <laughs> She's a wild spirit who runs where she may. <laughs> I, I don't mind at all. <laughs> Looks like the three of you are getting along nicely. Ah. She's a valuable addition to the clan. If I hold up my homework in front of her, she'll eat it. <laughs> cool. I don't know. We'll deal with that later. Duchess Cordelia spots a squirrel and darts across the yard. Ernest follows her laughing. He's actually been a lot more manageable lately. I think taking care of the dog is good for him. <clears throat> Thanks for breaking into my house, I guess. Anytime. Dick's anger. Brian, you made it, buddy! <laughs> ha! I don't pass up on some good man. What do you think of the party? It's not, not bad. bad. La la la, I don't like you. Please leave. Go away. Bro. bro. Hey. Stuff, bro. Bro, bye. Hmm. Bro, bye. bro, bye. Look, we're trying to grind on that surfboard. Right. Surfboard. Surfboard. Bye. <laughs> hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. oh, it hurts so much seeing him just like passed over like that. Who? Matt. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh my god. This is new. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what, uh, uh, that's he was, what he said. He, he was basically just saying, like, I'm, I'm sure it was like a. Thanks for being cool. Yeah. Thanks for, like, helping my dad kind of thing. My probably. dad. Yeah. Anytime, bud. I know we had a rocky start, but I'm glad to know you. I hope that you know how much your dad cares about you. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. My dad's had a rough couple of years, and I... I know it might not be easy to raise me alone. I'm kind of a weird guy, but I love him a lot. And it's just like he's mega happy. So, you're calling him up. My... Spellbot. Cool. Thank you, Lucian. That means a lot to me. Sure. And let me have you over to give you a stamp hack sometime. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for by. coming by, Lucian. But my, I think your dad's got that covered already. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Sail around, Dasana. 
<laughs> it's dark. I got dirt. Okay, blah blah blah. Yo yo. Right. I take a seat up for what? I take a seat. I take a seat next to Demi. <laughs> As the rest of the guests make their way out of the party. Did you know that in the Vic <clears throat> I can't. I still can't do it. That's fine. Did you know that in the Victorian era they would call benches seedy boys? What? You really? can seedy this boy. Jesus. Oh. I'm kidding, Dex Anger. But what if? <laughs> it's good to see you and your sippies again. Thank you. I had the revelation the other day, Dex Anger, and I think it was largely due to your continued influence upon me. There was a version of myself that might not have that might have been embarrassed to show you my true form. My information technology form. He acts like he's a video game character right. with multiple skins. Yeah. But what you said about me, about how my passion was what you truly admired, that emboldened me to feel like myself regardless of how I choose to dress and act. Instead of separate entities, there's simply different facets of myself, a three-dimensional human being with his own thoughts, wants, and needs. I love dressing the way that I do, but feeling constricted by what I thought was my own personal brand made me lose sight of why I did this in the first place, to make myself happy. I place my hand on Damien and feel a light squeeze. Looking up, I'm greeted by Damien's warm smile. Uh, I'm trying to be more comfortable with who I am, rather than dwelling on who I could be to other people. I can't stop smiling. I'm so proud of him. Damien, I am so happy you've realized that you can be a dog-loving goth. Me too, Dex Anger. Me too. I feel myself inching closer and closer to That was to more Damien. than an inch. Um, yeah. I go to brush a lock of hair out of his face, and I'm shocked by how soft it is. How is your hair so soft? Dog... Dog shampoo. <laughs> Why did you do that? It's dog shampoo. Are you disappointed? A little bit. Why? I kind of want to try it now, though, if I'm being honest. You have zero hair. That's true. I forgot I got a haircut. Yeah. I keep running my hands through his hair as he leans closer to me. Placing a hand on the side of my face, he strokes my cheek with his thumb. What are you doing? It was over here, and I think that might be why it's Oh, been. it might have been. You know, oh, that's you. You know, public displays of affection were considered scandalous in the Victorian era. Damien pulls me in for a kiss. But I think I can make an exception for you. Oh. We were born to make history! <laughs> Can you feel my, my heartbeat? Tired of feeling. No, it's never... tired of feeling. Oh, tired of feeling. feeling. Never in enough. I close my eyes and tell myself that my dreams will come true. There'll be no more darkness when you are near me. Yours. Oops. You believe in yourself, you are unstoppable. Where the history lies, the love of fire. Can't stop us now. The moment of truth, we were fighting the history. Things that happen, we'll tell it around. Yes, we were fighting the history. Yeah, we pretty much seduced our dads. Yeah. And, uh, now we're both pretty much married. Yeah. I'm done. So, uh... Unless you guys want more, but I don't know. Yeah, um, our nine subscribers... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> please let us know if you'd like to see more of this game, because, uh, this is potentially our finale. Yeah. 
It's been great though. We've I love this game. It's a good game. It really is. It's an amazing I, game. Um, I th I, like, I was worried that I would hate the amount of exposition, yeah. but like, no, that actually makes this whole game... Right. I love it! I can't get enough of it! Whoa! Love it! Oh, wow. What? When we uh, did our first recording, <clears throat> it was on the 9th. It's now the 29th. It's been 20 days since we did that first recording. That got messed up. Wow. Oh. Ooh. Beautiful. Look at him. Pretty. I like it. Mm -hmm. Work it, Damien. I like how his is supposed to look like your painting. Right. Oh my, oh my gosh, I love it. Work it, Damien. Right. Work it. Right. Damien Black Fennel. Click. Click, click, bitch. Swipe to the right on that one. Yeah. I like how different all of their eyebrows are. Right, I, I appreciate a, that. I know that that's like a really dumb thing, but like they I... They could have just made like, bloop, for everyone's right, eyebrows. but and... they all look so different. Yeah. And I, I really, appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, same. Oh my god! We got They're the, lined up! They're we, lined up, our dads! We got the purple dads. We got the purple dads. Purple's a good color. It is a good color. I think I'm gonna wear my purple shirt tonight when I see Day. De, De, I was about to say Day on. Day on. Damion. 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 Also, Dion, I know that you're gonna watch this. And uh, we need to figure out our Crystal Gem fusion name soon. Like, Stevani. But like, we, we we pretty much come to the point where like, is it Daedrian, or is it Adrian, or is it some other thing? It could be Daedrian. It could be, I don't know. Nine subscribers. Right. Answer in the comments. What should our fusion name be? Is Dion and Adrian? Let us know. And we look forward to seeing you in our next gameplay episode that you guys see all and watch them. Yeah. What the fuck? I don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> I right don't now. know what I'm trying to say either. Bye, guys. Bye!